Hello developers, welcome to Elixir Pro. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Docker Compose with Elixir. This is a simple, simple and amazing trick to use Docker Compose with Elixir. Because sometimes, for example, you can uh, develop your application and pass it to other people to test. And sometimes it's not possible because people doesn't have a... But the, the other people doesn't have a Postgres the other people doesn't have a node installed and if this person has a uh, docker this is really amazing uh, chips and really easy to run other applications so let's start uh, I strongly recommend you if you don't know uh, docker I strongly recommend you to watch a video that I recorded about docker to because we are refactoring this project and this project is a simple API using docker and elixir and you can see here like uh, this endpoint so it's okay I can test this and this is working so now let's refactor this uh, the first things that we are gonna do is prepare our elixir environment our application environment just to run for a dev and just to test this application as a developer so let's rename this file docker to dockerfile.dev also we are gonna do some things like uh, we are having all those steps and after you do this we are gonna create a simple file and expose a port so in this case the file is uh, we are gonna copy a docker dev start sh docker dev start sh also, we can delete this part of code and expose in expose for thousand. Okay, so let's start creating this file. S8. Also, this is really easy. We are gonna just execute in a uh, mix actor. Uh, can be. Let's see. Maybe we can do something better, like reset and set up, set up. Uh, yeah, best things, Ecto, reset. Why? Because if you have some database, uh, we are going to drop all tables and then we are going to execute the set, uh, setup creating the database and after we are going to migrate data and create seeds. So this is amazing. Uh, also, we are going to execute uh, mix phoenix .server. This is our command now. So let's start creating our compose. Why we are creating a compose? Because if you see the last video, we are using in this case a Postgres database but like a uh, uh, url this is not our case now we are going to create a simple step to to run our application as a developer so just let me see here uh, i think it's we can use test let's uh, delete this part of code uh, in this case Probably if you are seeing this video, I strongly recommend you to watch the last video and the video that we are that are talking about Docker. Uh, in this case is blog dev. Also can be localhost. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we are using Docker Compose, in this case we are gonna pass in our just like db and you are gonna understand why uh, let's see what else uh, pull i don't think we need pull so let's see here just one second please i start talking pause check out main uh, better <laughs> pick up this configuration git checkout docker oh my god okay so now 
I just need to put this information here. Uh, but host name is going to be DB, and we are going to, we are going to understand why. So let's see other things that you should do. It's creating a file Docker Compose EML. Also, this is some amazing things that we're gonna do. The first thing is the version. Version that we're going to use is three. And also we have to, to tell what service we are gonna use in this Docker Compose. The first one is going to be our application and our application we're gonna call uh, app. And in our application, we are gonna use the build. In this case, because we are not using a, a original Docker file, just using dockerfile.dev, uh, we are gonna pass in a context. Context is to be this directory. Also, Docker file is going to be dockerfile.dev because we created this one. Uh, I think now it's gonna be okay. Um, and we're gonna execute a command after we finish our application. So the command is going to be b sh docker. Let's see our command here. Let's see um, docker dev start sh. Also, we have our first services here. Also have to allow our ports. So in this way, uh, our port is going to be 8080. So, and we're going to redirect the port uh, 4000. Uh, other things that we're we are going to do is we are going to create a new services. This service is going to be our Postgres. So you can pass in here. But also, I'm gonna pass, I'm going to pass the Postgres the person twelve and environment. We are gonna pass uh, this password to so environment. We have an array and we have some configurations. You can see this in Postgres um, password. It's going to be Postgres Postgres user is going to be Postgres. Also, we're gonna pass the ports again. In this case, we're gonna keep the same port 5432. 5432. Uh, but the problem is some things in Docker Compose, it's awesome because this app needs to be that this application, this services, should be, uh, I would say that should be running. So for this happening now, for now, the best thing that we should do is using uh, other configuration, which is depends on. And in this case, I'm just executing the application app when the DB is executing. And we're gonna create a link to, in link, sorry. To the B. Um, I think this is enough for us. Let's see what else. Uh, in this case, I just put a host name here, DB, because we are using these services. Uh, when you, when you, when we put this conf uh, this uh, configuration, we are saying that oh, my host name is this host name. Why? Because Docker Compose always creates to us a network. So let's execute docker compose up and see what's happening. So just one second, hold on. Docker ps, docker stop. I'm gonna stop all my containers. Oh, great. So again, docker compose up and let's see what's happening. Mm. It's great. I'm not spending a lot of time. If you watch the, the last video, I, I teach how to create cache. In this case, they're running the dependencies. 
So now everything should be working, but you can see that the port here is 4000 because this is an internal container. Also, if you try to execute this part of code in the port 4000, it's not working. But if you go to the port that we define it, it's 8018, we have the same result. And after, and then I have a insomnia here. I'm just uh, inserting some database and some data and put some uh, information just to, to try and to understand that it's every, that everything is working. So let's see here. We have in uh, accounts user. Uh, probably we can do this with blog and posts. So probably this is going to be posts. Uh, let's see where else we have to pass a content and title. And title here. Mm -hmm. Just for testing. Title. Mm. Ah, yeah, I know. This is because I'm using the route. I wrote. So in this case, it's API. And let's try to use now. Oh, function calls errors. Uh, we are having Titan and we are having post. We have a, uh, in this case, seems to be working. But the problem is, ah, yeah. This is because we are going to have a post. This is my mistake. Just to know it's working. No, it seems to be great. Also, if you go to the to posts, you can see this information and everything is working in Docker Compose. So hope you guys to learn how to use Docker Compose with Elixir. See you in the next video. And please give us your like and enjoy in this channel. Bye bye.